So there's a lot of talk about 5G networks, but did you know about the five G's of investing? In this video, we're going to talk about the five G's and we're going to hear from Robert Kiyosaki regarding the issue. He's going to share with us some of his thoughts and then I'm going to share with you some of my thoughts about his thoughts. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this video. Watch all the way to the end because you're not going to want to miss the five G's. And I've added a sixth G that you might want to consider. So make sure you watch to the end for that. My name is Paris Clough and this is Financial Self-Reliance. On this channel, I absolutely love helping people manage, protect and grow their money. In this video, we're going to talk about the five G's. Robert Kiyosaki recently did an interview in where he talks about the five G's. So let's jump right into what Robert Kiyosaki says. And I'm going to hit pause from time to time to share with you my thoughts. I invest in cattle right now. You know, there's a thing called the five G's because I expect the dollar and the loonie to collapse pretty soon. By the way, the dollar, of course, is the United States and the loonie is what the Canadians call their monetary system. So we call it the dollar, they call it the loonie, and that's kind of the idea of what's going on here. And it collapses when it goes to hyperinflation, which happened in the Weimar Republic. So the number one asset is gold, number two is ground, number three is gasoline, number three is grub, food. And number four, guns. Five. So I only, right now, I'm preparing for the worst. That's what I'm saying. So what do you think about that list of five G's? That's the five G's of investments, according to Robert Kiyosaki. I agree with him on a lot of those things. In fact, I'm going to throw in an extra one here in a minute. But um, gold or precious metals. I believe in gold and silver. Absolutely, you should have a gold and silver as part of your portfolio. You need to have, uh, if you don't know where to go or where to look, Click on the link and click the, um, there's a link in the description below for ITM trading. I have a relationship with them. They're some of the best folks to share with you why you need to have gold as part of your portfolio. They'll give you a free consultation if you click the link in the description below. Also, if you want to have spendable gold, gold that I, I, I've talked about before, which is called Goldbacks, there's also a link in the description below for that. So you're going to want to take a look at, uh, at that. The other precious metal that he talks about um, as number five is guns. We call that in the prepper world, we call it the precious metal of brass. Brass is ammo. The second thing he says is ground or real estate. Real estate appreciates, you know, in a, in a recession or any kind of situation, you're definitely um, gonna wanna have some real estate. Real estate will always appreciate or at least hold its value. Gold for sure holds its value. Real estate for sure holds its value. They've both been hedges against inflation for this millennia, thousands of years. So it's not going to change. The third one is gas. Gas is going to be necessary to keep your um, vehicles going, uh, your generators going. Uh, you're going to want to have some gas on hand and store some gas. There's proper ways to do that. Make sure you look that up and find proper ways to store gas because uh, you don't want to store it improperly because it could be disastrous if you do. And then fourth, of course, is food. Food storage is critical. If you do not have at least a 90 day supply of food, you're going to be in big trouble. I would have, I would highly recommend getting good at the four, um, at, at number four with, which is food at uh, taking your breakfast. What do you eat for breakfast? What could you eat for breakfast that you could store out and get 90 days worth of it for everybody, member of your family? And then what would you eat for lunch? What would you eat for dinner? And then store that out. Cans are great. Uh, canned meats, canned uh, foods, canned vegetables and then get dry goods. Got a lot of dry goods. There's a lot of great places to get dry goods. If you want to know more about food storage and the best ways to actually store food, uh, freeze dried foods is good. Dehydrated food is good. Get some food storage. If you want to know more about it, um, hit me up at hello at financialselfreliance.net and ask me about food storage and I'll make sure I get some information to you about that. And the last thing is, is guns. Having a way to protect all of the things that you need. When, when things start to go crazy, there's going to be mobs, there's going to be civil unrest, there's going to be some chaos. And so you're going to want to really have uh, some way to protect yourself. Now, I'm not saying that we go out on the attack, that we become uh, dangerous or that we use, uh, you know, these guns to, and ammunition for, you know, nefarious purposes. But when people come against you, you're going to want to be able to have a way to defend yourself. But the way the world's going right now, the need for defense and self-defense is becoming more and more obvious. So I'm hoping that you get the proper instructions on what, go to your local gun shop, try out a bunch of different guns, go and get some training, look at some ways to get some good training on how to use them and how to handle your firearms, and then you'll be ready. If you wanna know more about how to handle firearms, how to get good training on firearms, hit me up again, hello at financialselfreliance.net, because I've got a great resource uh, for firearms trainings. It's, it's really worth it, so make sure you do it. All right, let's listen to the rest of his uh, video here, because even though he's getting these five G's, he also continues to, to still invest in everyday things. 
I'm, ne I'm never going to stop investing. My real estate is still there, but it's gold, ground, gas, grub, guns. So are you preparing for the worst? We always should be preparing for the worst, but then expecting to have great things happen and good things happen. That way, if the worst does come, you're ready, you're prepared, you're self-reliant. There's nothing that's going to really smack you down that's going to keep you down for long because you have the skills, you have the gear, you have everything that you need. Now, I personally would do the order a little differently. So the order that I would put everything into, if I was going to prepare for the worst and I was going to get into the five G's, and I'll throw in a sixth one here in a minute. This is the order that I would do it in. First is grub or food. You want to have food. If anything happens, you get laid off from your job, or if just, let's just say a civil unrest does happen, food is going to be critical. You can live for a long time without gold. You can live without for a long time without uh, property and without uh, guns, but you cannot live without food. So get your grub. Get that for sure as your number one thing. Number two is I would get guns and ammunition because the best thing that you're gonna be able to do is if you're the only guy on the block that's eating because of all the civil unrest or whatever's happening, there's gonna be people that are gonna be like, why is that guy eating and we're not, let's go get him, let's go get his stuff or her stuff. And so you're gonna to wanna to have a way to protect yourself. So guns would be my second choice. Then third would be gold because gold you can you can use to barter, you can use to get things that you don't have or you may, you may need. Uh, gold is a great hedge against inflation, especially if you got cash just sitting there in a savings account or cash just sitting in, you know, in your checking account. Don't let cash just sit. Put it into gold. Worst case scenario, six months, a year later, you can sell it. You can get your money back. It, I promise you, the inflation it hedges against inflation. It keeps up with inflation, and it's a great way to just hold your hold value. It's the, the only real way to have your money hold value. Um, then I would get gas because you're going to want to need to be able to move around and get around and vehicles are important, but you, you, ha you can't, it doesn't matter if you're dead because you have no food. So gas should be before, it should be after food. That's one of the reasons why I thought his list was a little bit out of order for me anyways. And then number five, he talks about ground or real estate. Now you got to have a place to stay. You got to have a, if it, if crap hits the fan and you really need to have some place to go, you're going to need a place to bug out to. You're going to need a place to bug into. You're going to need a place to bunker down and hunker down and, and survive and, and get through it. So ground is important. Having land is important, but if you're going to think about just inflationary purposes and things coming back, then land owning land is a great way to hold money and to hold value of your, of your net worth. Um, the last thing I would say is uh, the sixth thing that I would say, and this is a kind of a bonus thing for the sixth G I would throw in there is to have some God, have God in your life, get your faith right, get right with God, and then let him guide and direct you so that you get the right kind of grub. You get the right kind of guns, you get the right kind of gold and silver and precious metals. You get the right kind of gas and you get the right kind of ground. If you have that uh, guiding and influence in, uh, in your life, you're going to be just fine. So uh, hopefully you got a lot of value out of the five G's and my sixth G. What order would you put the G's in? I'd love to hear in the description below. Put the or, put the G, five G's or six G's in order for you in your life. Which, which way would you order them? If you missed the last video I produced, you can find it here. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel up here and catch this video up here that YouTube thinks you might like. Until the next one, let's stay self-reliant.